I stood up and told Ophelia, pull up your bloomers and act like a young lady, not an animal. <laughs> <laughs> At first it was things like the chart of insects when you get up close. What's that? A snap of Ophelia. In Cuba, you need a real fight and make up 50 times a day, but out here in 56533 five, three, Magnolia or in Hampstead, <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> so this five bedroom house, empty walls, the TV flaring, and this monster. <laughs> Batista Mopeya se mataba de la risa. I whirled around, hoping to catch Eugenio in the middle of his travesuras, something that would explain the chattering. He has flung himself on the leather sofa, his long, fleshy arms spill over the couch, jiggling with laughter. What's going on? I demanded. I swear, I felt a panic. I didn't feel an entire five and a half months I've been trying to get here. Sleeping in airports, sleeping like a dog in the corners of strangers' living room, trying to conceal my accent, my smell, and my burst teeth. It's a hot wave, a flushed feeling between panic and rage that I only felt in Cuba until now. Finally, Ophelia pulled her cell phone from under the pillow, and the howling intensified. It worked. She shouts into the phone, gotta go, girls, call you later. <laughs> Our grandmother used to say, se nos sale gallo por fin. Everyone in my family, including Monica and I, have long, impossibly long toes. Slender, like <laughs> panic fingers. <laughs> my friends used to tease me at the beach. Oh, yeah, Monica, can you swing from the trees on those? <laughs> <laughs> that moment, I see those toes of Gallegos in my little nephew. Strands of pink and purple hair waving, fleshy arms and legs shuddering with hysteria, all handled in their wire cajitas, dangling helplessly on the couch. Here they were, my little nephew, with long, fine toes of great great grandparents, both from Galicia and planning Cuba soils. Animales.